Just when you think I'm almost done with construction, right? Follow me. Sanded side, this is the rough side. Sanded side up. Ow, ow, ow. It's a good idea to get out of the way. Okay. Get the other half. Hopefully they're cut right. Okay, again, get on the correct side. Sanded sides on this side. I'm just wearing gloves so I don't get splinters. And, whoops. Alrighty. There we go. Now it's not the, um, it's these blocks back here that I have to remove. Okay, so there is my new board for this side of the room. And um, I have to remove the blocks right there, the ones that are sticking up. You can see there's no block there, there's a block there. And uh, there's a block there, probably to protect the wall from the previous mattress, I don't really know. But I don't think I need those blocks. So I'm gonna knock them out, there we go. Okay, we are going to hinge these, or we as in me, <laughs> so it can open up for under storage. Cool. Um, I had to make this one a little bit longer than I wanted to, this side, because of this cabinet right here. I wouldn't have been able to open it, this part, this side, the whole way. And I also wanted it cut so that it would sit on a brace board underneath. Okay, so I'm going to get to work and uh, knock out those two blocks and uh, get my hinges in. I've got these little hinges right here. And I think that's all I'm going to need. Actually, I said two little hinges. There's two per pack. Let's hope I can just pry off this little block. Oh yeah, it'll just pry off. Cool. No longer need these. Good, nice flat surface. Let's hope the other one comes out as easily. So it's just a block and two nails. Probably keep the mattress from sliding through the wall, I don't know. Get the other one. Actually, I'll have to just leave a tad of clearance. Okay, that's much better. I still have a little lip here, which I want because the dogs are gonna be up on this side. And, uh, you know, dog hair and stuff would get in my drawers otherwise. So I wanted just a little bit of overhang. That works. I might have to round off that corner or I will be running into it constantly. Okay, find some tools here. Get started on the hinges. This was the old one that was down there and it's just like fiberboard. So it would never do for a hinged type of door. Ta-da! Hinges, hinges. And uh, pins don't come out of these, but they don't need to. I have actually never done hinged panels before and I'm wondering if it'd be easier to fix them to the board because I have a little bit of playroom on the bottom part but I won't have any playroom once I get them onto the board 
So I think I'll draw where I want them on the board and uh, stick them on the board first. Okay, I have my hinged platform up now. And yes, there is a space behind them to allow the wood to go against the wall. I probably should have used a different type of hinge, but I'm not concerned. So, I'm just glad I got it done. Okay, let's go ahead and open it. There we go. Awesome. Storage space down here. And that's not going anywhere. So, I like that. That's already cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so um, my next thing to do with this section will be get some uh, cheap tile and put tile on top because uh, the wood will absorb any kind of fluids, any kind of liquids, any kind of spills. And, uh, you know, if the dogs have an accident, it'll absorb that. So I'll just get some cheap vinyl tiles from the family dollar and slap them up on there. And by the way, I got this wood uh, for a really super, super cheap price. It was uh, already pre-cut at 50% off. And uh, the kid that was working the dep uh, lumber department refused to cut it for me. I mean, he flat out refused. And uh, it was very strange. And he says, I can't cut that. And he just didn't want to do it. Young kids, I swear. I don't know what's up, but uh, he just cut like six pieces for somebody else. I was standing in line and he wouldn't even acknowledge that I was there. I had to confront him and um, not, I just said, you know, excuse me, I'd like to have that piece of, this piece of wood cut and he, I can't cut that. I was like, really? And then this right here had a couple of pieces of wood on top. Oh no, I'm not moving that to get to that piece of wood for you. So I turned him into the manager. The manager sent somebody else back there. The guy was super, super nice, and he cut it for me. No issues, no problems whatsoever. And then uh, that guy gave me a 70% discount on this piece of wood. So, yeah, I got it for next to nothing, which helps because I'll have to buy some of these tiles. So, yeah, I mean, if you run into problems like that, Go to the manager, let the manager know, you know, you're not being treated fairly. And they'll usually come through for you. So that's a rough layout of what it'll kind of look like. It's very rough layout. <laughs> I have to go get tiles. These I already had on hand. But um, this is what I had for my bathroom floor. So I'll go, I'm going to feed the dogs. Run to the family dollar, get a couple more boxes of this. And I think it's like 10 bucks a box or something. So they're really ridiculously cheap, especially for 20 tiles. And I figure I'll put this on my bathroom floor too. You know what? If it doesn't last, it's so cheap, I can replace it. This is the tile that I got to put over this area. It was $11 a box. There's 20 tiles per box. I bought two boxes because I have two areas to do. So let's get started. Okay, let's hope this tile uh, sticks. <laughs> I just uh, came down and wiped down the wood this morning to get any sawdust and such off of it. But uh, sometimes you have to get adhesive. These are self-sticking tiles, but this kind of surface, sometimes you still have to get adhesive. So I'm going to try and see if I don't, if I can skip that step. Okay. Boy, goodness. And this is a gray pattern. They didn't have much actually, but you know, it's not a hardware store. This is a gray, uh, what is that called? Um, oh well, anyhow, it's a gray tile. And it'll go along with the gray that I have going in here, although it will have um, furniture type stuff over it. <laughs> I can't think today. Okay, so I'm gonna peel off the tile here. It's just peel and stick. 
goodness. <sighs> Tell you what, the backing. Oh, it's stuck on there really well. I don't know if it's gonna stick or not. We'll see. I put it on wood before and it stuck pretty good, so we shall see. Well, it seems to be <laughs> sticking pretty good. Yeah, it's stuck. Okay, good. That's gonna work then. You know, I might take a rolling pin and roll over it when I'm done. I don't have a regular roller for tile, but a rolling pin will work too. You know, for $20 tiles, these really aren't bad tiles. $20 tiles. For $11 tiles, 20 in a box. <laughs> Cheap price, but the tiles aren't too bad. Especially for this area, since it's just going to have cushions on top of it. And I'm trying to stagger them so they don't have the same pattern. I'm still trying to think what that pattern name is. It won't come to me. I got Pergo stuck in my mind. And that's definitely not it. That's a brand. So, oh well, I'll get there. <laughs> parquet, that's what it is. It's a parquet pattern. All right. overlap there but the rolling pin will help that the corners well probably because I'm staggering in different directions okay so uh, come on this area here will have to be scored because um, of that and, uh, of course, the front part will have to be scored, so I have a little knife to score it with. Yeah, the scissors are cutting it just fine. And I can get a straighter line. <laughs> Got this section done. We've got my rolling pin. So we will just make sure we seal it down. And this section is finished. This will make it very nice. Um, I do have to probably put some kind of rubber divider over there or something. Something to keep the dog hair from going back into there. Um, I'm trying to think of some kind of rubber flap or something to make over that section. And uh, I like it. I like it. Going to be easy to maintain, easy to keep clean. And it adhered very, very well. So this makes it handy too, having a space to put my hand under here to lift the board with. I like that. No need for any kind of handles or anything. <laughs> 